ITV is the UK's oldest commercial broadcaster. Um, we have a huge reach, over 38 million viewers watch ITV programming most of the week. And we're in a position where we can reach a mass audience and we can have that shared conversation and, and be able to provide advertisers who want to reach a lot of people very quickly uh, with the, that capability. Broadcast advertising on ITV is very complicated. There's a lot of legacy in that system. so. We've spent this, this five-year modernization program unpicking that and modernizing it, streamlining it, and tackling the technical debt in it and setting us up so that we can, in the future, we can now start to talk about more integrated advertising um, across broadcast and online and ready to, to modernize and move where our audience goes and be more reactive to, to where, where the market goes. Part of this has been definitely a move towards the cloud and to AWS primarily and moving more towards the decomposed microservices architecture. When we went live with our modernized platform, there was a huge amount of fear had built up. A lot of people were looking at all of the 1.7 billion pounds in revenue that goes through that software over the course of the year. And there was an awful lot of fear and there was an awful lot of, of mistrust around that. Uh, we chose New Relic because it to a certain extent, it did just work. Uh, we installed it and suddenly we were collecting all of these statistics of things we'd never seen before. But also it was the ability to then share that with the business and say, look, we're not lying to you. Here, here are the numbers. We've got these agreements. Here are, the, here are these dashboards you can see and you can interact with it and you can find these things out. And it was just so quick to get going and, and really rapidly returned as the, as the numbers we needed to be able to have those conversations and say, see, we're not lying. It does work better. New Relic was capturing what we said they were, it was capturing and that there were no big dramas. It was, it was going very well and that was what got us across the line. I think without having that trust, without being able to build that trust through that visibility and observability of the software, I don't think we would have got through the, the launch. Initially, that's what we wanted New Relic for, was to get that certainty about performance and be able to, to show people that you know, we weren't damaging the performance of the software, but over time, business side starts to get interested and they would say, well, what does this mean? How, how are people actually using our software? Why, why are these people doing these things to these ad spots? New Relic has given us insights into the software we've just never had before, and not just into the software, into the business process, as uh, not as a, a software organization, but as an advertising organization. Suddenly we can see the patterns in what we're doing in our business process. It's not just how our software works. And that's been really interesting to watch. It's it's opened up all of these possibilities that we, you know, we a lot of the time we were working on rumor and hearsay, and now we've got the numbers. We can we can start trading off pieces of work against each other. We can make quantitative judgments about what the value of a piece of work is and how important it is to deliver it, which we just haven't had in the past. What excites me about New Relic is I can see what my users are doing and, and, and I can understand why they're trying to do it. Understanding what to create is the hardest part of software development. It's not, it's not creating the software, it's understanding what to make. And now we've got this insight, we can see people using it in, all, in real time. It's, oh. <laughs> it's, why I, it's why I get out of bed in the morning, is just to create software that people use. <laughs>